Hello everybody, it's me, the Wombat. Just wanted to say happy first day of Vlogmas. It is 58 degrees, so I got my trusty scarf to wear with my hoodie. So don't freeze. Oh, it's so chilly. I'm gonna wrap up my face so I don't get, don't get those chap lips again, right? <laughs> Actually, I'm roasting in this stuff. Let me take this stuff off. It's like so hot in here. It is like, yeah, it's it's about 60 degrees. Um, it rained a couple days ago. And it's, it's talking about more rain coming in. And when we get rain where I'm at, it's usually light sprinkles. <laughs> nothing, nothing too serious. But the humidity is up, so it makes when they're there's a certain level of dampness in the air. It makes it seem cooler than it really is. Kind of like me with my glasses makes me seem cooler than I am. <laughs> so what's going on? I just want to say happy December 1st. Um, thank you for everybody who took part in my poll. I did a video yesterday and I obliterated it. I don't know what happened to it. I loaded my computer and I forgot to give it the proper tag and now it's it's hidden. So rather than spending hours upon hours looking for it and trying to find it when I got other things to do, I figured I'll just make a fresh video. Thank you so much for, like I said, taking part in the poll that I did on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, I met Dave the Wombat right there on Twitter. And... Um, yeah, I did a poll. It seemed like you guys were honest, and I appreciate your honesty. There was four categories that I did. I didn't want to like bog it down with a whole bunch, but I just kind of wanted to get a feel of what you guys enjoy seeing me do and what you'd like to see me do more of in 2019, as well as less than. I'm, I'm outside my car, so sorry, the light's kind of... Kind of weird. I pointed it this way so it wouldn't be as obvious. I got the camera focusing here rather than kind of at the side angle that I usually do because I try to set up so I can do car vlogs sometimes and you can't have anything right there on your windshield. And I, like I said, I'm out in the car again because it's kind of early-ish. Everybody's still asleep, so I try to be courteous of that. It's also nice and soundproof in my car, so I don't have any other noises or anything going on unless somebody comes over and starts banging on my windows saying dude why are you talking to your phone because <laughs> they don't they don't know the the vlog life it's it's legit so anyways i just wanted to get back to the poll and i'm like rambling i'm, I'm sorry i'm just like that <laughs> so anyways the poll you guys i don't know if it's an oversaturation of people teaching guitar um, just guitar video after guitar video that other people are doing, or maybe it's just me. You don't like my playing. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to take it. But out of the poll, the guitar playing registered at 5% out of a hundred percent. So 5%. So I will enjoy playing guitar on my own time. So thank you very much for that. So like I said, you guys help me shape what you guys want to see and that's i want to deliver to you guys so next in was food reviews the little snack and chips that is about 90 percent of the content that i currently have on my channel um you guys gave it a whopping 15 percent so i think you as well as me are getting kind of bored with just food review after food review after you know it's just like i do them because it's quick it's easy it lets you guys know that I'm still alive and kicking and doing content, trying to work on, you know, things as such as lighting <laughs> and other things. Um, and it's just really kind of getting a feel of what people want to see. I don't want to step on other people's toes if they're doing something and, you know, that's their thing. And I want to support them. But at the same time, I want to do my own thing. And sometimes people, people will ask me, hey, what do you think of, of this thing? What do you think of this thing? So I've been, you know, some people have been asking me to try this snack and that snack and different things and stuff that looks weird and whatever. So I've been doing that. So, but 15%, you know, again, I appreciate your honesty. So we'll do a couple of those. I'm not doing one right now. So we'll go ahead and kind of scale back the food reviews. Um, 
one. Okay, so that's 15 and 5, that's 20%. So you still have 80%. That's like a whole area over here of stuff that's not really the majority of what I do, which is which is cool, which is exciting. So coming in and second place, the first runner up was live streams. I got 30% of the votes for live streams. And I go, cool, you know? I don't have like a huge audience that's coming live and it's it's real intimate and stuff. And we talk about you know different things. Usually I have a topic and lots of times the topic will will drift into something else. But it's cool to have all the interaction with everybody that, that watches and stuff. And and I see the numbers. There's a lot of people that don't watch. All right, let me back up. <laughs> let me back up a little bit. I notice that there's some extra people that are showing up as viewing but not taking part in the chat or, um, yeah, taking part in the chat or, you know, leaving comments, which is the same thing. I was going to say coming on p panel or talking, you know, we do that stuff sometimes too. But um, what I was going to say with the live streaming, I see there's like a lot of people looking, but they're like afraid. I'm, you know, I'm not going to come after you guys and rip your guys' heads off or anything. If you're, if you're in there watching, just say, Hey, but I understand if you're shy, so, that, so you know, whatever, that's cool. You know, and if, <laughs> I I don't think I have any hate watchers. I mean, if I do, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I don't, you know, I try to be a, a good guy, so, you know. But, you know, people are, people are always, there's always going to be a couple people that are unhappy with you first. So I'm like, okay, you know. We actually had somebody come in on one of the live streams that I did once who is very well known in the drama community for creating a lot of drama. And I saw the name and I'm like, oh no. So anyways, she came in there and I told her, I said, look, here's the ground rules. I, so I already eliminated most of the people, so it's not a dude. But anyways, I told her, I said, here's the ground rules. I said, you're welcome to come in. You're welcome to take part in the chat. But we're not going to talk about people. We'll talk to each other. You know, we'll talk about, here's what the topic is. We might talk about some other things, but we're not here to bash people. There's plenty of drama channels out there. <laughs> you know, there's there's the door. And she said, I'll be good. So she was on there interacting with us for, I don't know, it was probably about 15, 20 minutes. Everything was fine. No drama. It was nice to, here's somebody who's who people go, oh, I have no respect for this, blah, blah. And they're being decent and respectful. You, it's it's easy to do. You don't have to be all all the time or think that people. It, it, it's it, you know it, it goes back to grade school. You know we all just need to get along on the playground. We can share the tricycles. We can even push each other on the swings. <laughs> Somebody falls in the sand, help them up. It ain't that hard. So, anyways, like I was saying, live stream is coming in at thirty percent. And I try to go live, you know, again, I'm kind of rural, so, you know, the live streaming is kind of hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes it does buffering. Lately, it hasn't really buffered too much, but it's just hard getting the thing started sometimes, it seems like. And I've been um, cleaning out some of the extra picture files in my computer, um, put a bigger hard drive in there, hopefully, and... Um, I tried putting some extra RAM in there and that didn't really help too much, but putting a bigger hard drive in there, it seems like it, it helped. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes in the near future. Um, I've heard yes and no about video cards. Um, if you think a video card will help out, put that in the comment. <laughs> you know, I'm willing to try anything to make things better. Um, I did order... Uh, two new backdrops for the wintertime, Christmas, holiday season, whatever you want to call it. Festivus. <laughs> I don't know. You guys you guys call it whatever you want. But I got a couple backdrops to make things more enjoyable to look at. Ordered those back about the middle of November. And the order is still being processed. <laughs> so I guess they must be making them overseas somewhere. I don't know. I, when I get them... You'll see them, all right? Don't worry. But it's like, I was hoping to already have them so I could start doing some Vlogmas stuff. 
with my backdrops already instead of coming out here. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing some other things, taking some trips and, you know, just walking around here and there, showing you, you know, the typical stuff, Christmas lights and, you know, that kind of thing. So looking forward to doing that. Yeah, I, I did not shave my head. I just took it down really low with a number one on the clipper setting. You know, when you start losing your hair, you know, you can either do the comb over, which is just ridiculous. I worked at the place where this dude had a comb over. He just looked like he had like a regular short man's haircut. Not short like his stature, but just a regular man's cut. Kind of short, you know, and it was kind of this weird parting thing. It was obvious the dude had a comb over. I didn't say anything about him, about it or anything. So I was doing something, helping him at this one place I worked and stuff. And um, it was super windy that day. And he's doing something and he goes, Whoosh. so all his hair here came like past his shoulder and he was like balder than me. <laughs> and people go, dude, you're bald. It's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I bald. But yeah, the dude is like, I, I felt so bad for him. <laughs> and I just go, uh, Steve, he's all, yeah. I go, <laughs> he had a few things to say, but you know, I, I said, I'm not going to say anything. I mean, everybody knew. And then this one bank I went to, the guy had a part in the back of his I talked about this before, I know. The guy had a part in the back of his head, and he combed his hair forward, and he had the Eddie Munster widow peak. <laughs> it's like, you know, you know, a couple times I've actually taken my hair all the way down to just skin all over. Just used a razor, lathered it up, and done it twice. Both times Mrs. Wombat didn't like it. She says, you look like... A hospital patient or something you look very sickly so i said okay i won't do that or, you know so but this is a compromise that we have because you know whatever you know i can't help it i'm 51 i'm old i'm fat i'm bald <laughs> you know i only work on the things you can change right i can get a toupee i do have some wigs but I use those for characters. I don't use those to go go out in public and cover up my head because I'm like so self-conscious. I could wear a hat. I've never really worn a hat. I've tried wearing a hat a couple times, even like as a kid. I mean, and my head just like bakes. I'm not a hat guy. I mean, I've worn hats, you know, for characters. And again, it's like the costuming thing. But as far as being a regular everyday hat wearing dude, that ain't me. If you wear a hat cool you know that's some people have a hat and that's their that's their look for me the hat if i wear a hat people will be going dude what's what's going on with the hat because <laughs> it, it's just not my thing like this thing here little tiny wispy thing i don't i'm not a big fan of facial hair for myself other people can grow like big massive beards and store their keys and stuff in it and you know that's that's cool, you know, my dad always had a beard and stuff, and then, you know, he had the surfer mustache and stuff, and then he grew to a beard, and then he had a goatee and other things and stuff. Me, it just comes in kind of weird. It, you know, it's usually comes in because I have a lot of Irish people in my family, and it comes in red. It looks like copper wiring coming out of my face, and parts of it are blonde, parts of it are gray. You know, like I said, I'm old. Parts of it are gray, parts of it are blonde, parts of it are brown, and other parts, the red parts, everything kind of like just kind of comes in like patchy too. So I'm just like, you know, I, I did this at first. This is one bag goes, ah, I don't like it. So I said, give it a while, girl on her. And then I had it for like about a month and I shaved it off. And she's like, hey, what happened to the wolfy thing? I get the wolfy thing. She goes, yeah, that thing you had on your, I go, oh, okay. You actually liked it? Yeah, it was cool. I got used to it. Okay. So I grew it back and I've shaved it off a couple times and every time she goes, she goes, you're not allowed to shave that off anymore. So I said, okay, okay. So this is, this is what she likes. So, you know, she's not a fan of mustaches. If I don't shave from, I try to shave every day. I didn't shave this morning because I shaved kind of late in the day yesterday. But usually I will try to shave every day if I go more than two days without shaving, my face just starts itching like crazy. My neck, my face. 
especially this time of year where the weather starts getting dry. I mean, the humidity is high today, but usually it's really dry and windy and stuff. And, and you know, my fingers, I don't know, I don't want to show you the bird, but you see, cold weather makes my fingers crack. That's pretty bad. And like right there, that's better. I've been putting lotion and stuff on my hands are like super dry. Happens to a lot of people this time of year. But anyways, like I was saying, so I've been rambling a lot. I just want to get you guys kind of up to speed with what's going on. It's just a casual hangout kind of video. So anyways, like I said, uh, going back to the poll that we started about way earlier, 5% um, was music or guitar stuff. So, okay. 15% was food reviews, okay? Then 30% um, was live streaming. We've talked about that and ways to improve. And I have been talking to uh, Frontier. Eventually, they're going to get us something better, files. They don't know when they're going to do it. They keep saying, yeah, we're, we're, we're expanding all our areas. We're improving our technology. We're doing all this stuff. So they're going to get working on it, so get that going so at the very top of the list on my poll there's a bee outside <laughs> i'm easily distracted i'm sorry at the very top of my list was fake infomercials i put that up there just to see if you guys like when i do stuff like that you know the comedy stuff you know some people think i'm funny some people think I'm just mildly entertaining. Some people find me mildly irritating. <laughs> so anyways, I just threw it out there to see. I'm like, okay, people are going to want to see more food reviews, more live streaming. They're not going to want to. But at the very, I was surprised. At the very top of the list, you guys said you want to see me do fake infomercials like I did for the Roto Wheel. So I've got my work cut out for me for 2019. I'm going to find some more of those things that I had and also come up with some other ones. Um, I'm going to have to enlist the, the skills of my son, who's extremely skilled in crafting anything. I We've asked him before, hey, we've got an idea for this and that. Like um, years ago, we used to help out at different churches with their Halloween carnivals. And we're like, hey, you know, we're thinking of a game that will do this. He built a lifetime, a uh, lifetime, life-size operation game one time. That was really awesome and, and other things and stuff. So he's the guy that I call to. So when I'm doing my fake infomercials, I'll say, hey, I need this. You know, what do you think about this? And he'll probably come up with some other ideas too. I'll say, hey, I want to do something. What you got? And we'll do some brainstorm between us and hopefully come up with some good stuff and some more comedy. I've done a couple things too. I tried to mix the food reviews with some snacks. I had, I was dressed up as somebody. I've done it a couple different times in the car and I'll have the, my phone situated where you can see both seats. I'll film one section and then I'll film the other section and I'll be interacting with myself. What I'll do is usually the other character I'll, I'll do usually has a wig or something on so I can put an earbud in and hide it. And then what I do is I'll, I'll usually um, record with two phones. I'll have one that's that's the main video and audio. And then the other one I just have right next to it that I can get a good audio from. And I'll usually script it out and stuff. So I'll allow when I'm doing my part to do the right phrasing and pauses and stuff. And then I'll usually have the script in front of me so I can kind of think in my head you know, gauge how fast I need to go, how much space I need to, to do for the other character. Then when I do the other character, I've got an earbud in, listening to the audio and interacting with that audio. And it goes pretty well. A couple times, because I'm in the car, there's not enough room, so doing the split screen, sometimes part of a shoulder will get cut off or a hand or whatever. Instead of staying this way, each, I move around a lot. So... You know, I'm going to be working on that, doing them in a bigger area, you know, yes or no green screen. I It depends on what I'm doing, trying to, you know, just trying to learn all this stuff as I go. You know, I the internet wasn't around when I was a young boy. <laughs> so I'm just learning as I go, using my phone, 
got a couple cameras to use that I've picked up um, was it last year. Yeah, last year or year before. I don't know. I've been on here. I think I've had a YouTube account. I want to say 2015, 2016. I don't remember. The days just go by pretty fast. So it wasn't until a bit later I started getting more serious about, you know, trying to do some content, trying to interact with other people that, that are on here. Um, again, I thank you guys who subscribe to my channel. I know there's a, a lot of you that watch my channel and don't subscribe. That's fine. I appreciate those of you who do subscribe. And I appreciate those of you who just watch. And again, you know, feel free to leave comments in there. I look at them, even the bad ones, and I go, yeah, okay. Usually, usually it's set up where rather than getting bad ones, I get people that go, oh, well, check out my video on Voda Voda Voda. So they, they're using my channel to promote themselves. And I'm like, Dude, there's bigger channels than mine. You should go somewhere else and promote your channel. But anyways, like I said, looking forward to 2019. Looking forward to doing some Vlogmas stuff. So, again, like I said, there's no snacks to review. So, with all that said, I'm going to go run my errands today. Have a great one. Much love for me and Mrs. Wombat and the sun. And we'll see you guys real soon, hopefully under better lighting conditions. Have a great one. Bye-bye.